Cause niggas started chasing dreams Manifesting everything, it gon' come to me Nigga don't believe it, okay nigga watch it see Yeah I gotta have it in more any white money Money, money Smoking on that 93 YouTube, what the fuck it do man It's your favorite country YouTuber, Jamal Najay Back again with the fucking camera Hey, listen, listen, listen. I know, I know, I know. I've been gone for motherfucking too long, but I had it that that, 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 that that little break was fucking necessary, dog. I had to take that little break, that two day break. What, really? Three day break. Cause I didn't upload Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm uploading today, which is Monday, uh, September 5th. So shit, man. We back on schedule, we back on time. I had went out all weekend for my goddamn birthday, bro. You know what I'm saying? I should have took the camera and recorded every fucking thing. But I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Because some part, like, I was around a whole bunch of music and shit. So, shit, I ain't want to get copyrighted and shit like that. But I was around a whole bunch of females, too. So, I could have got down. That shit would have made my YouTube channel blow up. Because y'all niggas, for some reason... Y'all niggas don't even, y'all don't like being focused on y'all purpose. Y'all like being focused on females and this, that, and the third, man. Fuck all that, bro. Fuck all that shit. Then get on your purpose. Get on your grizzly. Get on your grind. You dead what I'm saying? I'm on a fucking mission. I got shit to do. I got shit that I'm going to do, nigga. Fuck that. I'm speaking shit into existence. And right now, I'm on the way to the barbershop. It's currently 942. I was going to the gym, but as soon as I was about to go to the gym, I had got a notification on my phone from the cutout. You did what I'm saying? Saying somebody wanted to line up. So, you know what I'm saying? I got an appointment. appointment. Hey, this the second appointment on that cutout. You did what I'm saying? A nigga getting better and better. I keep talking to God every day. You know what I'm saying? I just let no. I, I just let God know. When I left the house just then, I said, God, when I'm cutting hair, guide my hand. Let there be all of you and none of me. You did what I'm saying? You take over the clippers. You did what I'm saying? So every cut can come out immaculate. You did what I'm saying? It just like little shit like that, man. You got to wake up and be grateful, thank God, and everything like that, bro. Some of y'all niggas don't do that shit. You did what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm y'all big brother, man. I'm y'all uncle, nigga. I'm only 24 years young, but nigga, I'm wise as a motherfucker. You know why? Cause all I do is sit, uh, sit around and sit down and talk to uh, old people, man. Like older people, like people in their 40s and up, bro. If you sit down and actually have a conversation with them, that will give you a lot of game, nigga. And all you gotta do is soak that shit up. You know what I'm saying? If you seeking the truth, the truth go seek you. If you seeking success, success go seek you. It's like, whatever you seeking in life, it's gonna seek you. You dig what I'm saying? It's gonna take time. Like, this is the seventh month of me doing this YouTube shit consistently. This the most I ever did done this YouTube shit. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, hey man. It's time to turn up YouTube. Go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do your shit, man. Because the first six months was hell, bro. Like, I'm not seeing any reciprocation. I'm not seeing any views. I'm not getting any subscribers. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Really want shit. But that's how the first month, that's what any business, though, like the first six months, you will never, you know what I'm saying? You you going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to take a loss. You know what I'm saying? In those first six months, I just took a loss. You did what I'm saying? I had to sacrifice a lot. Like, I was sacrificing time. I'm sacrificing energy. I'm sacrificing, like, going out places and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, different shit. I'm sacrificing. But now, I think this, like, this the second half, right? This the second half of the six months. So, these six months, now I got to shake back. Now, fin well, I ain't got to. Now, I'm finna shake back. I ain't no finna. Now I'm going to shake back. You did what I'm saying? Because I'm going now. I'm seeing more and more of the world going to places. Like like I said, I'm from a small town in Georgia called Warrens in Georgia. Warren County. You did what I'm saying? Dub C, 30828. Nigga, that would raise me blue and gold bleeding, nigga. You did what I'm saying? I'm for, hey, 
the dog gonna be forever stomp fucking with me. You did what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't I don't forget where I come from. And I was coming to do with hair. He booked on the uh, appointment. He gave me five star by the way. You did hey But he gave me, we were talking this shit. I was like, bro, he was like, bro, where you from? I was like, warrant. You like, what? Where you get at? I like, hell yeah. Like we were just talking this shit, like. He like, bro, I'm from Atlanta, but this the first time I met somebody from Warrington. I ain't been to Warrington in a little minute. Woo, woo, woo. So that's why I say never hide, be a, or hide or be ashamed where you come from, dog. You never know who knows where you from. You did what I'm saying? You never know. Man, just always rep that shit. You can't change this where you from, nigga. Rep that shit, nigga. Rep that shit to the end, to the day you die, because that's where you came from. That's where you, your stomach ground was at. You feel me? But, um... Hell yeah, man, the first six months, well, this is the second half of the six months, of February coming up, this shit coming up fast as fuck, so when I reach my year mark, nigga, the second year gonna be even better, dawg, like, I'm, I'm just ready to turn up, dawg, like, I'm just ready to do this damn thing, man, you know, tired of being, eh, you know what I'm saying, especially, like, like I said, I come from a small town, and I went out the Buckhead uh, Saturday, yeah, I went to Lily's. Then after Lily's, I went to um, Vision Lounge. And then after that, I was driving on the way home. No music. Nigga, I got on, uh, I was getting on 20. So I was riding down the interstate, going downtown and shit. Nigga, I'm up there looking at the scenery like, wow, bro. Like, this is life type shit, like. This shit, it always blows my fucking mind, nigga. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, some of y'all understand, but some of y'all don't understand. This shit blows my fucking mind, dog. Because I never pictured shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in a small town, like, until you get out and, and start seeing places, you be like, damn, the world really bigger than, you know what I'm saying, where I come from. And that's how it is. And like I said, bro, it's it just time for me to start back traveling. It's just, uh, it just time, bro. That's why God finna bless me with everything that I want. You did what I'm saying? Because I've been keeping faith. I've been staying down. I've been doing the work. I've been putting in ample amount of time. Like, it just, bro, I've been working overtime, bro. Like, I need that break. You did what I'm saying? That's why I said I took that little three-day break, but now we back on it. You know what I'm saying? And next time when I be going down to shit, going places, nigga, I'm taking the camera. You did what I'm saying? That was my fault. But I own up to it. Like I said, I'm not finna beat myself up about it. That was gonna be great content, too. Y'all niggas would've loved that shit. No cap. I swear to God. This weekend was a fucking movie, nigga. It was a fucking movie. But, uh, hell yeah, man. I just be chilling, bro. Like, I'm ready just to live life, bro. I'm only 24, dog. And by the time I, I, I know, I probably only got six years left until I say I'm the age I want to be retired by, which is 30. I want to retire by the age of 30. Now I want to, I'm going to be retired by the age of 30. And like I said in previous vlogs, it doesn't matter if it's at 30, 31, 32, 33, 27, 28, 29, Nigga, by 30. Nigga, I say by 30. I'm gonna be retired. I just gotta figure out what the fuck I wanna do. You did what I'm saying? But I gotta, I kinda got a game plan on what the fuck I wanna do. And this shit finna take off so fast. This shit is everything. It finna seem like an overnight success. This is what I'm saying. Like, y'all niggas don't understand the amount of work and time and effort and shit I put into this shit, bro. Like, y'all niggas just don't understand, stand, bro. Some of y'all do, because y'all doing the same shit I'm doing. You did what I'm saying? But this shit finna take off, and when it take off, bro, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm out, bro. Like, I can't do this shit. Can't keep living like this, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Check the check. No, that ain't the way to live. That ain't the way we're supposed to live. We're supposed to live in abundance. We're supposed to live in prosperity. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be living elevated. So if you ain't talking about no positive shit or this, that, and the third nigga trying to elevate me, get the fuck on out of my life. God, remove negativity. God, keep me on my purpose. God, keep me on my path. You did what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want to deal with none of that shit. And if people ain't being serious about, like, the, 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 
being serious or respect the relationships we encounter with each other, man, fuck all that. God, send them niggas away. I don't need that shit. That go for uh, uh, niggas and females. You did what I'm saying? Like, I don't need that shit, bro. I don't need that shit. I need my peace. That's the only thing I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only thing. A nigga be happy as fuck, bro. Like, I be really happy as fuck. Nigga, I wake up every morning, turn on YouTube, turn on music. Nigga, I listen to uh, Vory, Grateful, every fucking morning. What? That's my fuck. That's my favorite song right now, nigga. That's my favorite song right now, Vory, off of that DJ Khaled album, God Did, bro. I listen to that shit every, bro. It got to, bro. And I keep that shit on repeat. But I, I get up dancing, listen to other music and shit like that. But I got to start my day off with that song, just to let Lord. Just let them know, uh, God, I'm grateful and shit like that. You did what I'm saying. You got to, bro. You got to. That's why I'm saying he finna, man. Listen, I don't step out on faith. You know what I'm saying. I put my trust in him. He would not let me fail because I put all my trust in him. You did what I'm saying. You see how this shit work now? This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. You did. Faith without work. Is dead. I'm putting in the work. I've been putting in the work the past six months. Now the next six months, I'm finna start bearing some fruit. I'm finna start bearing some fruit. All I had to do was stay put. I'm exactly where I need to be. You did what I'm saying? I'm exactly where I need to be. I just had to stay put. And God be talking to me. I be listening to him. You did what I'm saying? God will talk to you directly in your head. And he'll talk to you through nature. He'll talk to you through words, buildings, colors, numbers. And he down sure go talk to you through other people. You did what I'm saying? But that's all I got to say, man. Like, I just felt compelled in the spirit to say all that shit so I can motivate y'all and inspire y'all and oh yeah me and Reese finna be recording today and tomorrow so I'ma hit him up to see how he doing and see if we still doing the goddamn thing today cause if we not doing it today I'ma take my black ass to Sudos it's a little lounge sports bar and watch the game Georgia Tech versus Clemson you did what I'm saying I'ma go watch that and watch the game just chill bro but with all that being said, man, stay down till you come up. Grind till you shine, and when you shine, nigga, that's how you know it's your time. I need 10 lights. That 10 go turn to 100. That 100 go turn to 1,000. That 1,000 go turn to 10,000. And eventually, that 10,000 go turn to 100 motherfucking thousand, man. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Damn, I was finna to say some shit. I forgot what the hell I was finna to say, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And, um... Fuck, bro. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? 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 Oh, yeah, man. Y'all, nigga, let me know y'all there, bro. Let me know if y'all enjoying the video. Like the goddamn video. Comment, nigga. Goddamn, man. Goddamn. Say some shit, bro. What the fuck? Like... Nigga, I fuck with y'all, nigga. Y'all don't fuck with me. I just plan know y'all fuck with me. But shit, yeah, man, that's about all, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep God in life. Keep God first. Goddamn, turn up. When you get your check, flex on these niggas, but stay humble. Remember, stay humble and explore all your different types of talent. Tap into your potential, man. Your potential is endless when you put your mind to shit. Your potential is endless when you put your mind to shit. You did what I'm saying? Oh. Shit. Always remember that, man. Always turn the fuck up, bro. Stay humble. Continue to elevate. Continue to prosper. And watch your life just unfold before your eyes, bro. It's like, I think I get in a gist of who am I really? Like, I think I could be a fucking fortune teller or a visionary or, or something. I know I'm a prophet. Because, like, the shit I'm seeing, I already done seen before. Like, 
faces I already don't seen. Like I already like probably when I was little, I was having these dreams and shit. Now everything's starting to make sense type shit. So uh Yeah man, it just we finna do the damn thing, bro. Like I'm destined for this shit. I'm destined for greatness, nigga. That's one thing I do know. I'm destined for greatness. So that's what we finna do, man. But uh Keep y'all heads up, man. Whatever you're going through, you you will make it through it, bro. I'm a living testimony. You did what I'm saying? Keep your head up and just do the damn thing. But listen, I'm going to leave y'all with this. Always, always, always remember these three words, man. Peace, love, and prosperity, man. It's your boy Jamal Najee out. Peace.